A question we get asked is what causes a surge or spike? Essentially, when you're at a when you're at an RV park and everybody's plugged in, you have electricity flowing through the wires from the park pole into your watchdog or surge protector, into your autoformer or whatever, going into your coach. Everybody's plugged in. They have a lot of draw, you know, load on the line, which is their AC units uh, working, uh, water heaters working, microwaves working. There's electricity flowing through the through the wires into that coach. If somebody doesn't shut down properly, unplug from the pole properly, you can. Have have a surge. Essentially, it's like water flowing through the pipe. If somebody goes to the pole and just yanks that, yanks their uh, shore cord out of the pole, that water, that electricity flowing through the pipe, essentially going into that person's RV, hits a wall and it has to go back through the power line, can easily have uh, an effect anybody that's still connected around that RV. So a surge can be caused by your neighbors. Uh, obviously with lightning, if there's a distant lightning strike hitting the ground, hitting power lines, you can have a surge or spike that way. Um, if it's windy and you have power lines that are arcing, you can have a surge or spike. Um, even just simply turning on and off large equipment, uh, uh, washing machines, electric dryers, things like that that have a high amp load, uh, they can cause surges. When they, when they kick on and turn off, you're essentially changing the flow of electricity. It's a sudden change that causes that surge or spike. It can either go into your RV or somebody else that's near you if they're still connected and you're sharing some wires. So essentially, you do want a surge protector. Uh, it is something that's, that's necessary to prevent damaging uh, surges or spikes.